Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick review on how to replace the fill valve here. So I already taken this one off here, but I just kind of wanted to show you just really how easy it is. So the first step that you're going to want to do is you want to turn off uh, your water. Uh, so we've gone ahead and done that even though it's just leaking a little bit over here. All right, and then the next thing is you're going to go ahead and you know empty out all the water, which we've already done. Now, there's a couple of different designs for this. Okay, a couple of different. So there are some where you need to go to the bottom here and then there's like a little clip and you wanna move it to the left. So remember righty tighty, lefty loosey, and then it's gonna unclip. There's other ones that you can just yank off because it's basically, uh, it's kind of like a, like a male pipe connecting to a female pipe, right? Now the one that I have is pretty easy. So I just had this. So I just had that go go right in there and I went ahead and removed that first I removed this part here which was attached to this then I removed this right and then as soon as I did that this came right off the whole piece came right off all right so now I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and attach it this is the one that I got the fluid master so these are all the ones that it replaces so let's go try it out here. All right, so we're gonna basically insert it right in here. Same spot. Make sure that fits snugly in there. This is gonna go right in here. We may not even need the slip. Right there. And then it should come with its own. Alright, so it comes with this little piece over here. So as you can see, very similar. We're just going to use the original parts here. Consistency sake. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down here. Huh, all right, well, we might actually have to use <laughs> this one here because this little piece over here is hitting this over here. So I could probably just sand that down, but I'm a little bit lazy, so. Gonna use the original, still intact, looks good. We'll use the original. We want to make sure that it's tight. It doesn't have to be too tight because it is just plastic and there's the rubber seal on the uh, top. But this is where you're going to want to use your, your wrench. Right, so you're going to want to have this and probably this for repair. Grab this guy here. And it's actually not righty tidy lefty loosey in this case. It's actually lefty tidy. <laughs> so we're just tightening that. Okay. Let's look up top here, make sure that's good. Yep. Okay, we'll tighten it a little bit more. All right, and then that's when I started to hear kind of a little crackling there. So don't want to make it any tighter. And then I'm going to reinsert this in here. Oh, and again, it's lefty tidy, not righty tidy. Don't make it too tight, but you want it tight enough. All right. Oh, uh, obviously another thing is you definitely want to have like a little thing like this so you don't get water everywhere when you're emptying this over here. I forgot that little step in there as well. So I just turned the water on. All right, so it's coming in now. 
All right, so we got all the water up, so now let's go ahead and test it. And that worked, because we heard the toilet. It's a little black stuff in there from that, but that's good. All right, so job well done. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want more videos, please subscribe or give me a like.